G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. Uh, what we're going to be having a look at in this video is some speed distance time calculations. This is in response to an email I got off a guy called Nathan. Pretty much wanted to know how to do these according to this particular website here. I'm going to put it in the link down below. And I really recommend have a bit of a click on and a bit of a play with this website. It times you. It is quite nasty. Um, so anyway, Nathan, I am going to show you what I uh, had a look at with this. First off, you asked that I could work out some of my math magic. I'm just gonna use math with this, mate. There is no magic whatsoever, but hopefully I'm gonna make it a bit easier for you. So when you click on this particular link, what happens is it takes you to a website with 10 questions. It looks like this. There we go. So you get 10 questions and it times you submit your answers and then it tells you uh, how many you got wrong and how fast you did on average each question. Nathan, I'm going to show you how I go about doing these and for other people and how you can go about getting a fairly good score on this. So first off to do these, what I did is I actually used this particular formula here. I used the speed calculation formula, which was this one. Time is equal to distance over speed times 60 over 1. Okay, And I used this each time pretty much and I got my answers, except when they were really easy. Uh, so let's just have a bit of a look to start off with. First off, we're going to have a look at some speed calculations. So what speed covers 17 miles and 17 hours? What speed covers 10 miles in an hour 40? What speed covers 17 miles in an hour? What speed covers 13 miles in 15 minutes? And what speed covers 17 miles in 8 hours 30? And pretty much these are pretty easy, okay? Once you get used to how to do them. What speed covers 17 miles in 17 hours? So hopefully you'd get the answer straight away of 1. Okay, one hour, one mile. Two hours, two miles, three hours, three miles, 17 hours, 17 miles. I'm not going to even put this through my paces here. For the next one, what speed covers 10 miles in an hour 40? So the trick with these is we're going to turn our time here into a fraction. This is 1 and 40 out of 60. Okay, uh, 1 and 40 minutes out of 60 minutes. This can be changed to 1 and 2 out of 3. We can simplify this. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to put this in as an improper fraction. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Okay, 5 over 3. And this is equal to our distance over the speed. So what you're going to see is we have a speed we're trying to work out. That's down the bottom here. And we have a distance of 10 miles. So look, all we need to do now is we have an equivalent fractions here. 5 times what equals 10? Times 2, yeah? <laughs> so... 3 times 2 will give us our answer down here. 3 times 2, we have our answer of 6 miles per hour. And that's how easy it is. Fair dinkum. All right, uh, let's go through the next question here. Okay, what speed covers 17 miles in one hour? Okay, how fast would you be going in one hour to go 17 miles in one hour? You'd have to go 17 miles an hour. That's a pretty easy question. Uh, let's just go to the next one. What speed covers 13 miles in 15 minutes? So let's have a look at 15 minutes here. What is that as a fraction? It's 15 out of 60. 15 minutes out of 60 minutes, which is a quarter. So a quarter is equal to 13 miles over the distance that we're trying to work out. Okay, so how do we go from 1 to 13? We times by 13, yeah? So 4 times 13, we're going to have our answer. What's 4 times 13? The answer is 52. All right, let's go through the next question here. Okay, the last one of the speed questions, what speed covers 70 miles in eight hours and 30 minutes? So eight hours, 30 minutes, this is eight and a half hours. As a improper fraction, this is 17 over two. This is equal to the distance over the speed. The distance is 17 miles, and the speed is what we're trying to work out. So 17 to 17, Hey, we just times by one. So two times one, our answer is two. <laughs> okay. All right. Not so bad, right? Let's have a look at the next type of questions. These are these ones. Okay. How long? Uh, time questions. Time. We have a time question and a time question. So let's have a look at these. We're going to use this same idea. Time is distance over speed. Occasionally, we'll be chucking in this time 60 over one. That's where we need to work out the minutes. Okay, so time is distance over speed. At 10 miles per hour, how long does it take to travel 15 miles? Now I can tell you straight away that it's gonna take an hour 30. First hour you do 10 miles, 
the second half an hour, that second half an hour, you can do five miles, so that's 30 minutes. But let's chuck this in here. Okay, the distance is 10. Actually, the distance is 15. The speed is 10, and this is equal to 1.5 hours. Uh, 0.5 hours, 0.5 times 60 is 30 minutes. Okay, let's have a look at the next question here. At 30 miles per hour, how long does it take to travel eight miles? So uh, we're going eight miles. This is 30 miles per hour. Now you're gonna see this straight away. We're gonna end up with a bit of a fraction here. Because we're not gonna be even the full hour, I'm gonna times this by 60 over one, just to work out what the minutes are. And it's gonna make life easier because we can cancel out numbers here. Okay, 30 goes into 30 once and 30 goes into 60 twice. So eight times two, we get our answer. It's 16 minutes. Okay, let's have a look at this question. 36 miles per hour, 18 miles. Distance is 18. Our uh, speed is 36. 18 divided by 36 is half. It's half an hour. Half an hour is 30 minutes. All right, okay, so that's how you do those particular questions. Let's have a look now at the last lot of questions that we have left. We have at 40 miles an hour, how far do you travel in nine minutes? Uh, and at 15 miles an hour, how far do you travel in 44 minutes? Let's go sort these out. We're gonna use this same formula again, okay? So uh, we have nine minutes here. Nine minutes is nine out of 60, okay? Nine out of 60, we can simplify this a little bit further. We can divide three into both of these, so we get three out of 20. All right, three out of 20 is equal to, um, okay, the distance divided by the speed. So we have the distance, which we're trying to work out, and the speed, which is 40. Okay, from 20 to 40, we're gonna times by two, yeah? So we're gonna do the same up here. Three times two, our answer is six. Okay, lucky last question. I'll tell you what, after this, I will go through another set of these just to make sure uh, we're, we're all good with it, okay? So um, we'll, we can do that next, all right? Um, all right, last question. What do we got? We have at 15 miles per hour, how far do you travel in 44 minutes? Turn this here into a fraction, 44 out of 60. What number goes into both of these? Four goes into both, four goes into this 11, and it goes into 60. 15 times, we have 11 out of 15, which is equal to the distance that we're trying to work out over the speed, which is 15. How do you go from 15 to 15? Well, you times it by one. Hey, 11 times one, we've got our final answer for these questions, and that there would be 11. All right, so there you go. That's how I went about doing these. Uh, hopefully I haven't got a whole bunch of them wrong, actually. Uh, that'd be kind of awkward if I do. But I'll tell you what, uh, I'll go through the next lot of these questions and we'll see, okay? I'll use exactly this every time. All right, let's have a look. Okay, second lot of questions. This time I am not gonna separate them into types of questions. I'm just gonna start answering them. At 15 miles per hour, how long does it take to travel 30 miles? So this is a time question. Time is equal to distance over speed, okay? So we have a distance of 30. We have a speed of 15, this is equal to two. But there's no surprise there either. That's two hours, that is. All right, and that's one I'd hope you'd be able to answer without actually using the formula, okay? 15 miles, okay, that's one hour. Um, two hours is 30 miles. Three hours, 45 miles, so on and so forth. At 20 miles per hour, how far do you travel in two hours and 24? So we're gonna turn this into a fraction, this is two hours and 24. 24, 12 goes into that as well as it goes into 60. 12 goes into 24 two times and it goes into 60 five times. So we're gonna turn this into an improper fraction. Two times five is 10, plus two is 12. 12 over five is equal to the distance over the speed. So the distance uh, is what we're trying to work out and the speed is 20. To go from five to 20, you times by four. So 12 times four, we get our answer. 12 times four is 48. All right. This is real seat of my pants stuff at the moment. I hope you don't get any wrong. Um, there you go. I'm sure I'll get a couple wrong though and there will be anger. Okay, so 12 miles per hour, how long does it take to go 26 miles? Well, this is a time one straight away. Uh, this is distance divided by speed. 
26 divided by the speed, which is 12. If you do that, you go 12, 26 divided by 12, you are going to get this answer of 2 and what? Uh, 2 over 12. So 2 over 12 is 2 and 1 sixth. So what's 1 sixth of 60 minutes? Or 1 sixth times 60 minutes? Okay, it's 10 minutes. Okay, we have 2 hours and 10 minutes. All right, um, let's have a look at the next question. At 10 miles per hour, how far do you travel in eight hours? So 10 miles an hour, eight hours. Look, one hour, you're going 10 miles. Two hours, you're going 20 miles. Three hours, 30 miles. Times eight, you're going to go 80 miles. It's a nice, easy one. At five miles per hour, how far do you travel in three hours and 24 minutes? Today, turn this one into a fraction. This is three. And once again, uh, 12 goes into this one two times. And 12 goes into 65 times. Let's put the improper fraction over here. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17 over 5, uh, which is equal to how far we're going. That's the distance over the speed of 5. So from 5 to 5, well, we're just going to times by 1. So 17 times 1, we've got an answer of 17. All right, uh, we're booming along through these hopefully quite nicely. All right, what speed covers 3 miles in 3 hours? Hey, this is going to be one. <laughs> At 11 miles per hour, how far do you travel in one hour? Uh, that would be 11 miles that you would go. At 10 miles per hour, how far do you travel in seven hours and 48 minutes? Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, so in that first seven hours, 10 miles per hour, you're going to travel 70 kilometers per hour. But what do you do for the extra 48? Okay, so 48, well, this is four fifths. Okay, because uh, 12 goes into 48 four times, and then the 60 minutes goes in uh, five times, so four fifths. And that's our time, which is equal to the distance over the speed. Uh, we have a distance we're trying to work out, and the speed, which is 10, so we're times in by two, right? Five times two equals 10. Four times two, well, that's the second part, that's eight. Eight's gonna get added to our 70 here. This is 78 kilometers. All right, uh, we're almost done. What do we got for our last questions here? We have, what speed covers 15 miles in an hour and 40? So, hour and 40, this is gonna be one and two, three. Okay, one and two thirds. This is gonna be uh, five over three in an improper fraction. What speed, so the speed's the one on the bottom. Uh, <laughs> this is equal to 15 miles. Okay, so times three, three times three, our answer is nine. Okay, last question. Hopefully I haven't embarrassed myself by getting at least nine of them wrong so far. At four miles per hour, how long does it take to travel? 13 miles. Okay, nice easy one. How long? This is 13 distance over four. So it's gonna take three hours. It's gonna take three hours and one left over. So three and a quarter hours. This is three hours and quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. Submit my answer. We'll see how many we got right. I can't do that, actually. Uh, I can't write and do that at the same time. So, uh, unfortunately. Anyway, hopefully, this was of some help to you, Nathan. Okay? Uh, for you guys, I really, really hope you get on this website and uh, give it a bit of a fly. See how fast you can do things. Okay? I think I was getting them down to about 15 seconds when I was doing them per question. But I reckon you guys could probably do a bit better. I'll tell you what. I'll post my best time up. Uh, and if you like this video, please remember, like and subscribe to the Tech Math channel. And if you want to be a really good mate to our old Tech Math here, please remember, you can become a patron. Won't cost you too much. And you'll be uh, helping out, well, people like Nathan. Okay, anyway, hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.